So, how's it going guys? Fly here, back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video. Now, in this one, I actually wanted to go over some more news that we received just yesterday about some more exclusive content for returning players to the next-gen systems, being of course the PS4 and the Xbox One on GTA 5. So, if you guys do enjoy the video, I have some very interesting stuff that I'd like to talk to you guys about. Go and leave a like down below as it really would help me out. Now, let's go. So, in this picture that I'm going to put on screen now, this was actually one of the ones that we received yesterday in the Social Club Newswire post about the new exclusive content which was going to be revealed to be just for the returning players for the Xbox One and PS4 versions of GTA 5. So, in this picture here, it's actually one that they talked about the stock cars. So, we're going to have stock car racing where you're going to be able to have sponsorships kind of thing. You'll be able to have company logos on certain cars and then you'll be able to go racing in them. So, this one's actually a nice screenshot here which has some very interesting things that not everybody has noticed. So, aside from the improved lighting and the, just the better textures in general, you can see something here. So, if we go over, there's actually six cars in the picture. From the back, we have an Imponse Phoenix. Next, we have a Dominator. Then what looks to be a gauntlet and then another dominator here right in the foreground we have what looks to be another gauntlet and then just behind that we have something that isn't actually in gta 5 already now this yellowy kind of car is actually what people have assumed to be the classic stallion so i'm going to put a picture of that on screen now now this is a convertible muscle car which has been featured in the gta series next to the stinger the most out of any other muscle car so, it's made an appearance in GTA 1, GTA 3, Vice City San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, Grand Theft Auto 4, The Lost and the Damned, The Ballad of Gay Tony, GTA Chinatown Wars, GTA 5, and GTA 5 Online, which only counts for these screenshots. So, so far we haven't actually received this car in GTA 5, it seems to be new to, to the game, and it, well, from only from what we're assuming, this is of course going to be one of the exclusive things that the next-gen players are going to be receiving. As in this latest Newswire post, it actually read as such, there will be a bounty of content for all new players, new and returning to discover, including a fleet of classic GTA vehicles and a few more surprises we've got planned that you have to discover for yourself come game day. So that makes me think that while they haven't explicitly said anything about this classic stallion, it could be one of the new cars that they're talking about which is going to be a classic GTA vehicle coming back. And by the fact that this is one of the most reoccurring vehicles in the GTA series, I imagine that of all of them, this one is very, very likely to return. And now that we have a screenshot of it, it seems pretty much confirmed that it's definitely going to be in the next gen games. In this latest screenshot in which it was featured, it's actually got a bleeding tasty logo, it's got the Xero logo, the Burger Shot logo, and many, many more. So that's going to make me think that this is going to be another one of the stock racing cars, which is going to have different custom paint jobs applied, or I guess they're not so much paint jobs as sponsor logos. So I imagine this is definitely going to be returning to the GTA series, and I'm very excited to see when it does. So, what do you guys think of this? Do you, are you excited to see the Stallion returning to the next-gen versions? Have you got any other cars that you'd like to see returning? Go and leave that in a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this. Leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy, as it really would help me out. Subscribe for more videos just like this. As I'm recording this, we're actually just 10 subscribers away from the 2,000 mark, for which I'm very, very excited, guys. And finally, follow me on Twitter for any more exclusive updates, behind the scenes, and just general information that doesn't always get uploaded to this channel. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys all very much for watching. My name has been Flair. Signing out.